So let's start from the things that you have to avoid. Here is the list of things that you have to avoid. Exactly, nothing. You have to avoid nothing in order to lose weight. Most people are really, really, really misled by all of these things that you need to avoid sugar, you need to avoid oil, you need to avoid uh, wheat, chapati, and, and all of these kinds of things that you really get confused of what the hell should you eat. And then you feel guilty if you happen to eat some sugar, uh, eat some like oil or some oily food or something like that. And because of that guilt, you just give up all of your diet and then just you never come back to your diet. Okay, and that, that is why most of us fail. You really need to understand that there is no such thing as fattening food. And this is why you don't have to avoid absolutely anything. Okay, now it is not as awesome as it sounds because there are two things that you need to learn. I'm very sorry this video is going to be sort of nerdy with lots and lots of information, but if you pay attention to all of the things that I'm telling you, it's not that hard, you'll totally get it. First, we have to start from something called a calorie deficit. So here is a clip of one of my old videos that will quickly explain you what the hell is a calorie deficit and why it is the most important thing in the world in order for you to lose weight. So when it comes to you know discussing calories and weight loss, many people I have observed don't really have the basic understanding of this whole deal. So I'll, I'll just cover the basics as fast as I can. Calories just means energy, okay? And when we are talking about calories in food, all we are talking about is the energy that we get from food. Now, there is a, this question often comes up that what are the food foods that have calories in it, right? All the foods have calories in it. Doesn't matter what kind of food we are talking about, anything that qualifies as food on this planet, uh, whether it be black coffee, whether it be chocolate cake, whether it be ice cream, whether it be chicken, meat, eggs, vegetables, anything, every single thing that qualifies as food on this planet has calories in it and all calories matter when we are talking about weight loss. Now, the another thing most people ask me is exactly what do you mean by a calorie deficit? Calorie deficit means that you are consuming less calories than you're burning. So when you do that, when you burn more calories than you're consuming, it kind of creates this energy gap between the you know calories out and calories in and in order to cope up with that energy demand, in order to meet that energy demand, your body burns your body fat as energy and when you are in a calorie deficit for a you know long enough time you basically burn all your body fat and you can in that way you can reach whatever the weight loss goal that you want to reach so calorie deficit is literally the primary thing that drives weight gain or weight loss so you can do all kinds of diet you can do all kinds of you know you can take detox teas and supplements and weight loss pills and all these kinds of things if, we, if that thing, whatever you are doing, if that thing is not really creating a deficit, you know, a gap in energy because of which your body has to dig into your fat stores to use body fat as fuel, then you are not really going to lose weight. It is as simple as that. Calories primarily drive weight loss. It has been proven by many, many, many studies. The next up is this, appetite regulation. Now this sounds a very fancy word, but it is not. It is just means that how your body and your brain basically uh, controls this whole game of when you get hungry or when you get cravings for which food and if this regulation if this whole appetite regulation is inefficient it's not working properly then you're going to get more hungry you're going to get more cravings for these uh, junk foods like burgers and chips and and uh, sandwiches and all of these things all right so there is a trick i don't want to say trick there is a way to regulate your appetite in a very healthy and in a very good manner so that your brain and your body doesn't make you much hungry it doesn't make you crave very many foods and it makes all of these things with weight loss and eating in a calorie deficit really very easy and that is to place certain foods in a certain preference okay now most people think that there are these healthy foods like vegetables or protein or sprouts and and salads and all of these things you know chicken and egg whites and things like that all of these are fat loss are, are fat loss foods and things like uh, chapati or rice or idli or oil and all of these things are basically fattening food it's it's not like that it all comes to calorie deficit but there is a there is something to say that you want to eat certain foods in a larger portions and some foods in a smaller portions like chapati, uh, sugar, oil and all of these things in a smaller portion so that 
the appetite regulation inside of your body and your brain works in a good way such that your body is trying to keep you at a healthy body fat percentage at a healthy way and that is what we are going to talk about now i want to give you a list of preferences of food what foods you have to eat more of what foods you have to eat less of and in in what order and proportion and preference you have to go about that right pretty much this is the entirety of food that you can eat okay pretty much everything that is found on earth is covered in this list at least by category if not by particular food group so uh okay i forgot something yeah one food that i forgot to add here okay so cool so uh, right now i'm going to just give you the basic formula what i believe is like the weight loss formula that you should be using for every one of your meals right now i'm going to just tell you right now that you're going to have around 3 meals a day now why 3 meals why not more what are the people who should eat more meals what are the people who should eat less meal than 3 meals who are the people who should do intermittent fasting and things like that you are going to get all the answers for all of those kinds of questions in the next video right now just go with this thing that you're a normal person and you're going to eat a breakfast a lunch and a dinner okay that is basically the end of this video uh, because it was honestly too much information to take in one video and if you feel made this far congratulations first of all there was a lot of theory a lot of booing stuff here so that's the end of this part uh, we're going to continue the same topic in the next video because while editing i just got the vibe that it's going to be too much and nobody is going to watch the full, full video right so the next part of of this whole series is going to continue the same topic the next video and you are going to learn everything about exactly what to eat in each and every meal of yours so get ready to get your brains blown off brains blown off bye